Hello everyone, as you can see I'm here. Uh, let me just uh, put the, the camera on the, on the table. You can see there is this way, like this. So that's my wife here, my beautiful wife, and we are here at the restaurant looking at the dish, preparing to order. Let me turn the camera. And here I am. And what am I doing here today? Uh, I'm going to meet another YouTuber who is coming here uh, to meet me in Changsha and also for his work. Well, that's really nice. And he should be, uh, he should be already there. So let's. Uh... Oh, he's here. <laughs> you see, did you see him with this camera? He should be here. So let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look, look at his equipment. Should be here. He's just walking around. <laughs> so who's the guy with the camera? He's meeting another guy with the camera as well. Okay. <laughs> People's face. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I will tell you more about him after. Huh? Okay. So we'll discuss after. So let's meet, let's meet <laughs> with the camera, okay. So hello everyone, uh, hello everyone, hello my friends. So as you can see today, I'm not alone, I'm with a friend um, and he's also a YouTuber here in, um, in China. And in fact, uh, can you introduce yourself? Well, I'm Gabi and I'm a magician. I've been living in China for like about... 14 years? 14 years, you know, can you believe it? 14 years! No, I can't believe it myself, <laughs> no. yeah, it's true, it's true. That's crazy. Yeah. At first when uh, you told me, because he is here, uh, he came to Changsha and he told me, okay, hey George, uh, can I come and visit you? I said, ah, sure, we, we can do a video together, it will be nice. And then anyway, I, I thought he was just new to China and say, okay, I'm going to... But then he told me 14 years, you know, that's crazy. So, I, I, by the way, he, uh, he, I will put the link below uh, for his channel because I think someone who has been in China for four 14 years, it's really uh, worth listening to his uh, knowledge or to his opinion because uh, he will know a lot, you know. When you arrive in China, uh, usually what's happened? Uh, yeah, right <laughs> now, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you for a second, I'm gonna turn this way. <laughs> okay. so you see what's going on, I'm so distracted looking all over the place. Yes. They're like this. Yeah, yeah, see, there's a kite like everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and they're flying all over the place. <laughs> they're gonna about to fall in my head in a second. So I'm gonna like, what's going on here? What's going on? I look mm -hmm. a little distracted mm -hmm. when you're filming, like because it's this guy. Uh -huh. I'm gonna move a little bit over there. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Look, 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 look. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Oh, whatever, whatever. We we can. It looks beautiful, actually. Yeah, it looks nice. I'll, I'll but when it falls, fall <laughs> there's, nice. there's also the small one here. You see? <laughs> there, maybe we can walk a little bit. Let's walk, baby. Oh, let's, let's walk because my, my wife she's, she's a little bit yes. and we can walk and talk a little bit at the same time so um, yeah so what I was saying is that when you know when you come to China you are first you have a first impression the first uh, one year you will be like yeah yeah and then after after two years you will change opinions and ah, I hate it and after you'll be like and everything you have different I say step you know step by step you have different feelings that's uh, anyway how I feel and I believe many foreigners will feel the same so they have first you, you love it then you hate it then you feel different that you have several mood you know yeah, to China yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster <laughs> yeah roller coaster you, you, I, kind of it will not be stable like, you know yeah, it will yeah. not be stable it's like yeah uh, so yeah so so you no, um, I feel like once you're in China, either you love it or hate it, it's like a magnet. It's gonna kind of skip you here. Yes, right? yes, that's true. Uh, maybe you leave, you go back to your home country, and then you, you relax about it. You don't feel that like magnet pressure anymore than keep you here. Yes. It's like something keep you here. <laughs> yes. You're here, and then you it's become my prison. Yes. <laughs> like, Did you come back to, to, to your home country in the meantime? In yeah, yeah, a couple of times. Yes. But, uh, Exactly. Every time I go back, I say, oh my god. Ah, uh, you miss I, it. You miss it. That's also the, my same experience. And I know so many foreigners, it's happened the same. Actually, I don't. Actually, I don't. I don't miss it. But once I'm in my country, yes, I exactly. feel so nice. I feel like so good. And but after like, a time, you know, after some time, you will miss everything. it. Yes? Yeah. No, no, no. I no? don't, I don't uh, usually miss it much. But uh, once I'm there, I, I love it. I don't want to <laughs> go back to China. And then I have to go back. I have my stuff oh, here, my really, family, really, everything. Uh, uh. And then when I go back, I forget about my country again. It's, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's strange because I know many foreigners. What happened is first they came to China. After a few years, they came back to their home country. And after a few years, yeah, let's stop here and also wait for, for the baby. And after a few years, then they 
they again they um, they came back to China because they were like oh in the end uh, I would rather live in China than in my own country so so I don't know it's just different it's different but uh, and now just briefly um, uh, w what are you doing here in, Ch in China now? So you have your companies and you are starting with company with the with the video or? <laughs> well, I'm a magician first and, and mostly. So I've been doing magic for many years. And before I was a magician, I studied photography. And I used to have a photography company back in, when I lived in Beijing. Oh. Lived in Beijing eight years. And I kind of miss it. I miss it the, like the business, I miss it the art, the, the way of expression through photography. And I also started also in... In the, hey, in the video <laughs> industry. So I, I started a new company. I have a partner in Shanghai. And yes. We started a, uh, it's called Rage Photo Studio. Link here. Okay, okay. I will, I will put if, the if link. don't put the link here, you then click the uh, I will, I will, I will, see, I will put the link uh, all, all the, uh, yeah, 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 don't worry. There will be all the link below the video. And that's very interesting. And, and about the magician, and I think um, I think it must be crazy to work as a magician in, in China because uh, I believe Chinese people, that's the kind of things they love. Like if you come, you are a foreigner, so they will look, they just look at you, oh, a foreigner. Yeah, and then true. if you are a magician and a foreigner, it's crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, you, I definitely get a lot of attention here. Like, I think I would like, uh, maybe you can post some in, in your videos, some some of, of the people who come. Maybe if you have the chance to film when you are doing magic trick, it would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think. yeah. Okay, okay. And do you want to say something uh, like uh, about about China, about your experience here, about... Uh... Oh, it's, it's nice. I mean, all in all, I mean, for people, you're probably talking... I'm talking to some people that is watching at home, not in China, right? Yeah, they are I mean, not in China. What is going on with China? What, what is How is it? Is it, is it safe? Is it's, it's, it's tough, man. It's oh. tough. At the beginning, it's always tough. Oh. You need to get around. You need to learn your way into China. It's not like just coming and... For some, so for some people it's easy, especially the people in Shanghai. It's yes, very, it's, very easy. Yeah, it's very for westernized. For people like us, that yes. we don't live in the main yes, city, exactly, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. It's mm. not as easy. Uh, you need to, to, to find your way around. You, you mm. need to learn the language. It gets a little bit tough. Yeah. And you're point. also married to, and you are the same as me, because yeah. you're also married to a Chinese wife, and you have also a small kid, about the yeah. same age, so it's really interesting. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But, but once you get used to it, it, it's good. And it's definitely good to make money, I mean. Yes, yes. You make money here. I mean, oh. the, the opportunities are here. Yes, there are opportunities. It's, it's not like easy. It's not easy to access them because you need the knowledge of. Based on my experience, I don't know about you, but for me, no, I but think definitely it's everybody. That everybody goes through the same process. Oh. Oh. There are opportunities. You need to find them and work for them. Yes, They're yes, not yes. like just rain at you, but yes. they are. Maybe in my country there aren't as many. Definitely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready for rock and roll. <laughs> Oh, come on, let's go on with the interview. Just go away, you know? I don't know if I can... Okay, okay, let's split up. <laughs> it looks like they didn't get a good connection there. But, yeah, you know, it's like... It, it reminds me of America in the 80s, right? Yes, you yes. went to America in the 80s and everybody make money, right? Yes, this, yes. Is, this is China now. Yes, yes, Everybody's yes. coming here and making money. Yeah, that's true, it's true. That's but it's not, not only for money. So harder, right? Yes, that's why it's got a, It's not only for money because you know, the, uh, I believe there are many foreigners that come here, then they have uh, many projects. They say, wow, wow, it's easy, I will make it. But then they find out, no, it's not that easy. In fact, right, opening easy. a I mean, business is not easy. You need, you need work sometimes. I, I say some type of business. As a foreigner, you can do them. Some type of business as a foreigner, you cannot do them, except your wife, Chinese wife, or your Chinese husband will be there to do it for you. you know? So in conclusion, you need to bang a Chinese. <laughs> yes, or, 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 that's true. You have to have a Chinese partner or someone at your side that you can trust. To try or, or you limit yourself to some businesses that, that are okay. You know, I have many of my friends, they are doing sourcing and it works very well. Yeah, yeah, They're making a lot of money. Maybe the, the internet offers more opportunities now. That's what it, we are it's discussing. It's true what you before. say. Like, uh, mm. there are some businesses that it's impossible for a foreigner to do here. But maybe let, let's walk a little bit. Yes. It, and then we'll, I, will, I will just finish down with the interview. So like, except you want to add something like no, yeah, some, some business they are impossible for foreigners exactly exactly definitely, yeah. definitely. you know i did the restaurant and the restaurant is really not easy like the restaurant is yeah. like wow you know <laughs> restaurant is a little hard. Yeah, but i think time. the yeah it's, that's i i it's, uh, you, anyway i uh, it's probably will have the chance to meet each other again uh, yeah, in the future also <laughs> and it's good that you are doing the channel so everyone just go on check the link below the videos and go on this channel um it will subscribe and subscribe to his yeah. channel. I think it's really worth it. Now everyone has his own choice, you know. I'm not sure why you watch my channel or why you watch his channel. I know a little bit why you watch my channel because we discussed a little bit with some of you. But uh, I for me personally uh his, his videos they are the kind of videos that I like. 
because I think uh, there is some real content about China in the videos, you know. So that's not always the case, you know. You have some videos that are on the internet, on YouTube, they are a little bit superficial. Like it could be like, okay. <laughs> Uh, are you singing? Uh, yeah, that's the, on the riverside. You have many, uh, and I will leave you. Uh, do you want to add something, or that's, uh, I think that's that's yeah, about yeah, it. I have done something very important. Yeah. This is China all about. Look at this guy. <laughs> he sings like shit. Yeah. I can still do this but he doesn't care. Public, he doesn't, doesn't care. You're right. You're right. And it's just for the fun of it. You just enjoy yourself. You know. Anybody can do anything here. Yes. You are free. You are free. And that's good. <laughs> you're right. It's very interesting that you say this. How about one from the Rolling Stones? Move away. ACDC. ACDC. You know? So. Like a. Highway to hell. Highway to hell. Your turn to sing. I don't know highway to hell. Yeah. Than you. <laughs> no, come on, just let him sing. <laughs> and I will leave you uh, for for now. Take care, everyone. See you sooner. GoPro, stop recording!